Well, hello, friends and neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome down to the nook. It's Sunday, so we're going to look at samples. And I was thinking I'd be doing some sherried scotch samples because I'm just getting into that. And then I realized it's the 4th of July. So happy 4th of July. With knowing that it's a 4th of July, I thought I got to shoot some American spirit. So I have a couple of samples here from Ray, gentlemen from Texas. Thank you. And they're both rye. So when we come back, we're going to look at Sagamore Spirit Rye. I believe this is uh, from the Empire Store Pick, and this is the Mirage Store Pick. Um, one of them, and I don't know which one, uh, is the one that, that I think Whiskey Tribe shot a while ago, and they got that bottle from Whiskey Crusaders. So we'll see if I get any of the same notes that those guys did. But come on back, uh, grab a rye or a bourbon, and we'll talk these two rye spirits when you get back. Three, four. Thanks for staying with me. So the first one here is from, uh, as the Empire Store release. As I understand it, actually Ray sent detailed pictures and I've lost those. Um, but I tried to dig around and do whatever searching I could find. And what I believe is that Sagamore Spirits right now, even though they're out in Baltimore, Maryland, is that they're sourcing from MGP uh, and they're mixing like older, no, not older, younger. It's all about six years, but high rye, low rye, mash bill, something like that. But then these are barrel select. So do they mix them before they're barreled? Clearly, I didn't do enough research. We'll see what the proof is. Uh, I couldn't find the exact barrel picks, but I think these are higher, like right around 55%, 110 proof. Let's talk rye. Oh, it's a nice nose. I've been playing around in kind of that older, mustier scotch, and this is bright and peppery. Still got some sweetness to it. Hint of anise already on this one. Hmm. Mouth started watering. Hope you have something in your glass. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Wow. Really nice flavor. Good wood. Lots of oak playing around. The spicing took a second to get going. Now it's going, like it's coming back from the finish. I'm getting that um, black licorice candy ball, kind of sometimes I get in rye, so really coating, a little, so a little bit oily, a little bit of licorice, um, some nice you know, cinnamon ginger kind of playing around in there, a little more cinnamon, a decent oak, really tasty. And at first I was gonna say, oh, this has gotta be less. This has gotta be down around, you know, 45%, uh, but, now it's playing a little bit, it's hugging in my throat, and so probably probably a good 50% alcohol, but it doesn't taste hot, like 65. It's, uh, it's strong, but I'm amazed at how um, coating and kind of licorice this one is for me, which I like, but wow. Really nice, kind of a candied black licorice. Mmm, mmm. Oh, wow. Mm. Um, right now, it's just for sips. Love the two ounce samples. So I can come back to it, but it's not too grassy for me. Rye can be anywhere in that spectrum of a lot of, you know, herbal grass, eucalyptus, eth not ethanol, methanol, uh, not methanol. <laughs> um, but like there's edges of it, it's still a rye. But it uh, it feels a little tastes a little more like a very spicy, slightly licoricey bourbon. Mm, no, that's a rye. It's still got a bit of that cut little drawing on the edges now. Man, I really like that. Okay, next one. Okay, the next one is a is a barrel pick. I know I don't know which one was the the one that was shot uh, on those other on the other great channels, but this one is I believe the Mirage um, Liquor Store sample nine. So we'll see if it's any different. Okay, now on the nose. This one has a little more of that rye grass that I was just talking about kind of missing on this one. So it stands out as sort of a layer that I wasn't getting over here. Yeah, little, little more um, herbal note, a little more 
eucalyptus. Let's see it is on the palate. Cheers again. Strong in that direction. Wow. I, I, they are very different for me on this first sip. This is that clean on the palate, fairly grassy. And, and by grassy, I mean it's got that edge of you know lemongrass, that edge of, of herbal note, eucalyptus. That It's playing in that area. Very drying compared to this one. Um, much more pepper instead of you know cinnamon ginger. Um, and I don't get that kind of licorice anise. I'm going to go back to this one more. Coming back to this. A little thicker, a little more candy. Holy mackerel. Okay, I love rye. So, oh, and a little bit bitter on that. So i got to constrain my love. But um, I like this one. It's a nice, clean, strong rye. I, I really believe that if you, you grab this one from Mirage, you'd go, whoa, whoa, good backbone, nice, spicy rye. If you like, now the black rivers is backed off, but you know, this one is coating. It's more, you know, cooked ginger snap cookie. It's, I like this rhyme quite a bit, like a lot. So I don't know which one this is in terms of uh, the famous ones out there, but this rye from um, Empire Liquor, this store pick is a beaut for me. And this is good and strong and I like it. Wow. Love samples. Hope you guys are having a great 4th of July. Uh, if you can be with family safely, I hope you're with family and friends. And thanks again, Ray, for these samples. You're amazing for sending them my way. Hope you're having a great weekend. And all of you, stay safe. Have a good week. Hopefully we'll see you in a week. Mm -hmm.